Hi, my name is Natasha Horn, and here we are in my studio again, and I would like to talk to you about my new painting, and this painting called Daughter of Kin, or Kin's Daughter. And this painting came to me, like many of my paintings, from my uh, soul gazing, how I call it. This is a special prayer when you go in the spirit, in unseen world, supernatural world of the Holy Spirit, or Jesus and Father, it's their world, it's a parallel world, kingdom of God, which is in us. It's what Bible tells us. So, and as Christians, we believe in Bible. Yeah, it's good to believe in Bible, but it's even better when we can live through, live Bible. You know, and not just the way uh, when you say live in Bible, most people would think about it's that's about go outside and do some good things, gifts gifts to people. Yes. That's good. It's also living Bible. It means do what the Bible told us. But there is another thing we can do. And it's a way we can pray. Contemplative prayer, uh, people call this. And contemplative prayer is when you go in a supernatural world, in the kingdom of God, which is not there somewhere away from us, but it's within us, in us. And because Jesus is in us, and it's not just because Bible told me so, I know that, but I experienced that. I had a vision, and that vision was uh, quite a strange uh, to understand. It's happened to me many, many years ago. And uh, my understanding, Holy Spirit, put right inside me. I met Jesus inside me. That sounds quite strange, but it's what happened. I, all my understanding, mind and everything, uh, I think it's just uh, my spirit. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but I met Jesus and I heard he talked to me. He said my name. And it was quite interesting experience. And then another experience I had when I ask, it is years passed by, and I ask, okay, Lord, uh, you explain me that, and now I want to know how is it. I am on you. And again, I saw vision, uh, and it was just a short vision uh, while I was praying for my brother. I saw Jesus walking towards me, and because the the person I saw, he was like um, transparent. I think it's a Holy Spirit. It's difficult to understand because they are one. Difficult to explain, I mean. You can understand, but uh, you can understand by your spirit. You can understand with the mind of Christ because we can do this. And, uh, and I walk in this figure, that transparent figure, and I walk in it. And then I saw devil was on his knees and I was continue to pray and my prayer was different. My prayer was prayer of such an authority and understanding of authority. And that's very, very important to know when you read, you know things, but when you see them in the spirit, you experience them. And that's very interesting, that's very important, and that's what we need to draw the supernatural from supernatural world into physical world. And many people's mistake that they think that supernatural world is uh, by itself and physical is by itself, and they're two different worlds. But Bible told us that they both united under Christ, under one head. It's Christ. So, physical world and the supernatural unseen world, 
because physical world could be very supernatural as well. And seen world, they are one now under Christ. And these two parallel worlds and people, must people not see it, but I would like to say that they see it. They just not realize, they don't pay attention to what they see. We can see. Our imagination is amazing, amazing gift of God. Uh, we all, even unbelievers, we know sins. We can see sins, even um, if you say a negative example, demonic world, we can see well. When we start worry, we see all these pictures going on in our head. But why don't we switch that into a positive, into what Bible teach us? And if you start reading Bible, you would know, you would see so many things. If you keep this in your mind and you will read through the Bible, like with the glasses of um, uh, gazing, with the uh, glasses of seeing things, and notice how many verses there, Jesus saw and he was saying, look up or see it. And words like this about seeing and often it's about seeing with, your, with the eyes of your heart. Like he would say to a people, look on the fields. There was a field around them when he was talking to disciples. No, but he was saying, look. So what did he say? He said, look with the hearts of your heart. They are full of these fields. Yeah, you remember that scripture. So, eyes of our heart can see. And we are able to see things. And Holy Spirit use our positive imagination to show us things as well. And sometimes we see visions which is just been given to us from the Holy Spirit or Father. And we would just see automatically, you know, without any of our attempt um, to do anything. But we can create those visions, if you can say like this. We can step out in those visions. We can do, that's a prayer. It's like in your prayer, you can say one word and Holy Spirit say the next to you. And it must be a dialogue. That's exactly the same. That's in your vision. You can use your eyes, you can use your ears, you understand everything. Spirit, your spiritual eyes, ears, uh, smell, senses, you can use when you go in this realm. And that's what I'm teaching and that's what I'm learning at the same time myself. And I invite you to learn this with me together. If you get excited about it, let's just go in this unseen world. We can just go right inside this picture which is here and you will be able to see. And I will take you into vision and at the same time I would explain to you how I get this picture. And so we close our eyes and we just go. In my vision, what I saw, and I'm going to take you now into my vision, and we go and create each one who watching me you go and create your own vision holy spirit go and work with your spiritual eyes and he going to show you things so as you close your eyes i invite you to see a big beautiful field you walk in it if it's difficult for you or maybe you are not a person who know God well or don't know him at all and it's difficult for you and you feel you are not worthy to be there or anything like, like that I invite you then for those people I invite you just very uh, very quickly to look up upon the cross first Look up upon the cross and see Jesus there. And as you look on the cross and you see Jesus, 
you must know that he's suffering for you and that blood which is coming from this cross all over his body all these wounds all these torches torches which he's been through it's been done for you and now receive that receive that with all your heart and receive forgiveness and as you receive forgiveness consider yourself free from it just by faith and that's how you receive your salvation by faith you receive forgiveness and you can hear the words when Jesus saying father forgive them for they don't know what they doing and that's for you for those of you who don't know about it but you want to follow us in this vision I would tell anyone can anyone can do it and you can do it so but mainly these visions which I'm talking about and this type of prayer that's for people who already know Lord who already walk with the Lord and for those people who wants to go farther to learn about your heavenly daddy learn about love of Jesus learn more about Holy Spirit and his gifts that's for you but if you're not there yet it doesn't mean that you can't get there you can still experience great things the other thing I would like to say as you start going in this type of prayer and if you have any evil imagination come to you and you would see some kind of evil pictures from the enemy all you have to do is just stop them how do you do this how do you stop them flick to positive don't think about it walk away from them in your mind so we ignore them or we just command them to disappear and that's we're coming back to our beautiful vision of heaven where we will meet Jesus and our heavenly daddy where the Holy Spirit will walk together with us and show us different things and as we're standing in this field and we see flowers and each one will see in their way they own flowers and how they moving and how they alive and what the beautiful colors around you and you'll be able to see all this nature and glory of God right in the nature you may be able to see animals running around just see your see your own vision and now I would like you to see there's two figures coming towards you through this field. They're coming closer and closer. And you will be able to see that this is two horses, two glorious horses, white horses. And on one horse, Jesus riding. And he's coming very close now. And other horse is for you. And I would invite you to look around and see how these clouds of glory coming towards you closer and closer and now you'll be able to see that that those are not really clouds but those are angels who, who surrounding you and Jesus and standing near those horses you can count them I'm not going to count because I would like you to do it to see how many angels came to you personally i would like you to see how they look all i would say they are glorious they are shiny beautiful amazing creation of god who filled with love of god and they are there to serve you to love you with the love of god and to be there for you and here for you because kingdom of God is here and now and that one angel coming close to you smiling and he is helping you to go on a horse 
sit down on this horse. And now you and Jesus, you are riding. You're riding across this field. And it's a beautiful, beautiful time of you together. He's looking at you and you're looking at him and you're both smiling. And now you're coming to, to this edge of the field and you see a city. Beautiful, shining like a diamond city. That's a heavenly Jerusalem. And now the first which is striked, and I see that myself, that there is a river which is coming right from the top, very high up, just like on this painting. And that river is dividing the city. And you could see the buildings, glorious, glorious buildings on one and other side of the river. And they are beautifully beautifully reflecting in that water and water moving living water the water of life that's a river of life beautiful like a crystal which is coming right from the heaven and you can see that the colors are so amazing the buildings are so glorious those buildings are buildings of the saints it's their mansions their houses and there is a some light penetrating through the between buildings and also reflecting on the water that's very very beautiful it's like a playful playful dance of colors and light on this water and you and Jesus are standing right on the top of the water on your horses and you just enjoying that glorious, glorious moment. And you can see far above uh, and farther, farther away, you can see this glorious light, which is the Son of Glory, who is Jesus and Father and great God Almighty and the Holy Spirit. And that light, it's a light shining, welcoming you towards you itself. And you are going, you and Jesus are going there. And it's not surprising that Jesus could be right next to you and at the same time he would be seated at the throne next to his father. Because Jesus and Father and the Holy Spirit and also we people and angels we are spirits and spirits can breathe wherever he wants to breathe and he could be anywhere he likes to be and at the same time in many places that's a great ability which given to all spirits and we need to learn that we are also spirits and now as you riding on this horse you are coming towards your own mansions your glorious palace where father your heavenly daddy waiting for you and those horses now already arrived and maybe some of you go ahead of me maybe some behind but it doesn't matter i mean in your vision we just going and as you stop next to this palace beautiful building glorious you can look up and you can see your details see what you see i don't want to give you anything because if i give you it will be mine i want you to see it and there is angels there angels are welcoming you they put their hands like this and they go towards you and saying hi and they welcome in and they saying welcome to your castle welcome father waiting for you and as you coming down from the horse jesus helping you and you come near to jesus when you next to him just hug him hug him kiss him accept his love accept his kisses accept his embraces he loves you so much but he wants to bring you to your father he wants you to see your father today because something special is going to be happen. And as you walk inside this building, you see a great long 
table and a big, big hall. And there is a guest, many people sitting there, and you're looking with your eyes for the father, but he's not there yet. He, you have to go further alone, and she's just inviting you to walk further alone. And you see this big, big balcony, beautiful, with a big columns like I've got here on this picture. And as you walk out to this balcony, you see a round table and a beautiful bench and um, some chairs as well and you would be able to see what's on the table see for yourself and the father sitting and waiting for you there he wants to see you there today and as you walk in you see also wisdom this is wisdom one of the spirits of the seven seven spirits of the holy spirit wisdom it's one of them she is a beautiful artist as she said she's been uh, helping father creating this world and that's all in the bible it's nothing from myself and as you walk close to your father father get up and he stretch his hands towards you and maybe some of you just couldn't um, handle and in a way they couldn't wait and they just run towards father and he would hug you and he would lift you up look up at you just as a child and say my dear child i've been waiting for you so much i would like to tell you today so much i need to do for you and i so much i would like to share with you today and that's your daddy and you should have this closeness to him and i invite you to do this often come to your heavenly daddy and listen to his some secrets he wants to reveal to you listen to a wisdom which he may reveal to you through this spirit of wisdom listen to the saints or saints might be visiting you there you know the saints from the bible paul peter solomon david esther you can ask for any one of them to come and meet them there or meet them in any place there in heaven they all there and they all for you the bible is talk about it and it says that we come near mountain mountain of zion with innumerable number of angels and saints saints are there so you can come and uh, have um, dialogues with those saints they are not dead they are alive and you know some of your relatives who is in heaven they are not dead they are alive god is not god of dead but he is god of alive people of living people and they are saints there now in heaven and i tell you more some people you think are not in heaven because they done this or that you would be surprised that's all i say for now <laughs> you would be surprised love of your father is so amazing and jesus died for all of them and he bankrupt hell that's what the bible tells us so that's something to think about and now you sit with your father and you spend some time with him and you eat whatever is on the table and angels they enjoy to serve you that's their nature and the bible tells us the one who is little in the in in heaven the one who is biggest that's what it says the one who is biggest he serves to those who is little so holy spirit serve you and uh, angels serve you even so you are a child of god and they are your servants they are serve you because they want to because they have a great love in them and now two angels coming another two angels one of them got on his hands a crown 
the other angel has folded in his hands a mantle of ministry you have been called to. That's something you've been destined to, something God prepared for you, and He wants to place this on your shoulders today. So as you come close to the Lord, and you are already there, <laughs> and as you're standing and looking at your Father, He's smiling at you, and He taking this mantle from the hands of the angel, and He placing on your shoulders, and you just like on this painting, you can see yourself there, whether you're man or woman, it doesn't matter. You can receive this calling from the Lord, from your Father. And you will be able to remember this moment. And I invite you to feel all this and see all this with the eyes of your heart with your spiritual eyes. Just look at this moment, hold this moment and put it in your heart and keep it with you. And if you would, while you are going now with me, if this is not, you're not able to see it properly, come back to this place and go through it again and again. Think about it, talk about it to God. If this is something which is burning on your heart, if this is some kind of desire, you can receive this mantle. We don't have to go to pastors or people in ministry and run after them and try to receive mantles from them. We can receive this straight from your Father or straight from Jesus. And that's what happened to me. And I had this experience when I um, was getting ready for my video one day. And uh, before I would, when I would uh, prepare in video, I spent so much time to do it. And I would write lots of um, on papers and everywhere, getting ready, you know. And I still had, even doing all this work, you know, uh, it was work, it was my work, and what we need, it's anointing. We need to be in the flow, we need to just flow with the Holy Spirit, it's all we need. And the time came and uh, Father told me that day and he said, that Natasha who is afraid of this camera, she's no longer there. It won't be happening to you again. And then I said, I said, Daddy, would you give me a mantle of a preacher so I can do this? And he said, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I was waiting for it. And even so, I don't really think of myself as preacher. I think of myself as one who is a voice, the one who speak, the one who just delivering what I have on my heart. I think of myself that I would just give to you something what I'm going through myself. When I receive from the Holy Spirit, I have a burning desire to share. That's what Father put in me. So whatever you have, you ask about it, you ask God. And I give you here example how you can do this. And you went through this contemplative prayer with me, through the soul gazing. And as you stand in there and you can feel this mantle on your shoulders and you know that the Father placed the crown on you Look around and enjoy this moment. Let it be. Let this moment stay with you. And if you had a, anything, any experience, which is, and I know some people would have lots of interesting things which will come out out of this prayer which we had together. Write them down. 
and if you can you can write to me and say something what you experienced I would I would be glad to hear from you